So you wanted to see how I dehydrate peppers from start to finish. Here's the video from pepper to powder. So the first thing you want to do is give them a bit of a rinse. These are out of the pail so they won't be very dirty. As I said before, you always want to use gloves when handling these peppers. If you're going to be saving your seeds, I advise you to use a coffee filter. And if you're going to label them, label them on both sides. Because when you rinse it, if you get one of the labels wrong, you might not be able to read it. So at least this way you'll have a backup. When you're preparing a pepper for dehydration, what you want to do is you want to have it. That way it'll, it'll dehydrate better instead of just putting a whole pepper in there. See the oil on these gloves? That's why we want to be wearing gloves. This oil is what contains the capsaicin and that's why it sticks to everything. And that's why it's so hard to get rid of the heat when it gets on you or in your mouth. Here you can really see the oils on the inside of this chocolate butla. So now I'm done having all my peppers. I like to keep them separate no matter how many or how few. Because I'm going to make powder out of them but I don't want to mix them up. Into the dehydrator we go. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to rinse off the seeds a little bit. Still handle these with caution because even though they're just seeds, there's still capsaicin in there. So we're going to dehydrate for 18 hours at 60 Celsius. And here we go. You betcha, Jaeger. You tell them. So we're done dehydrating now. Get the gloves on. As you can see, they're all nice and dried out now. I always wear a dust mask too. It helps me prevent from sneezing while I'm doing this. First thing I do is I just break them up a little bit and then I start grinding. And that's the finished product from pepper to powder. Thanks for watching.